My name is Philip Teekel. I'm uh, Managing Director of Teekel Composites. We're working on a new type of drill rod which is based on um, going away from steel materials to lightweight, high strength fibre composite materials. I've got some examples of fibre composite tubes which form the, the core of the new technology. This is a, a carbon fibre tube, extremely strong and, uh, and very lightweight. Um, and for similar applications, I've got here a, a glass fibre tube. The functions of the drill string are to control the weight on the drill bit at the bottom of the hole. It's a conduit to provide high pressure fluid which might clear the, the cuttings from the bottom of the hole and the fluid might also be used to power a downhole motor. Uh, it also provides a conduit for putting instruments down to, to the bottom of the hole and pulling them back up um, to recover measurements from the bottom of the hole and it's also a conduit for recovering core uh, which is samples of rock from the bottom of the hole for later analysis. Uh, the other advantages of the drill rods of the carbon fibre or glass fibre drill rods is that uh, we can embed um, communications and sensors uh, in the wall of the tube which is very difficult to do with steel and also different sensors can be used uh, with these materials um, that are not compatible with the steel drill rods. So for example we can have uh, borehole radar going in glass fibre tubes or we can have nuclear tools that sense the composition of the surrounding material they work very well with carbon fibre tubes. Now the purpose of all of this is to help the driller get more information while they're drilling. Um, so information on the direction they're going, uh, where they are, uh, what they're drilling into, is there anything valuable that they're drilling into at the bottom of the hole and also are there any problems coming up such as voids or loose sand that might require corrective action uh, to save them some expensive delays or, or failures uh, with their drilling operation. The process involves dry filaments which are on spools, um, they're combined and they're put through a, uh, a resin bath where they're impregnated with a very tough liquid plastic resin and wrapped onto a mould called a, a mandrel. The uh, carbon fibre band that you can see comprises 48,000 carbon fibre filaments. The carbon fibre material itself is 5 to 10 times the strength of steel but only about one quarter the density. By wrapping the fibres on in predetermined patterns we can control the properties of the tube. So we can make the tube stronger in tension and compression or able to bend through fairly tight corners or able to hand, handle very high uh, pressures. The work that we're doing on uh, these drill rods is very demanding. Drill rods have to withstand extremely high compressive loads, tensile loads, bending, torsion and very high pressures from inside and outside uh, of, the, of the drill string. So it's a demanding task and it requires a, a big team to put it together. So my company is providing expertise in the composite materials but we're part of a consortium which is uh, the Deep Exploration Technology CRC. That is a group of Australia's leading research organisations, um, drilling equipment suppliers and also the uh, exploration and mining companies that use that will be the end users of this technology.